Brian Skinner's coming out today. He's a ranch researcher, and he's bringing with him a next deputy sheriff from the area named Chris Porritt. Hey, Ryan. Hey, guys. Hello. Chris? Candace Lee, nice, nice to meet you. Tom Lewis, glad to meet you. Come nice on over. You, Chris has some stories he wants to share, and he evidently was the officer who reported one of the cattle mutilations. So that's pretty compelling, considering he's around to talk about it and wants to. How did you become familiar with the ranch? I actually met Mr. Myers when I was working for the county, and he had a fascination for horses the same as me. Mm -hmm. And so I'd come down and ride with him, and from that time on, we became really good friends. The Myers family acquired the property in the early 1900s. They, along with the old original homesteaders, really started settling the, the general area that has now become Skinwalker Ranch. Uh, Kenneth and Edith Myers ended up living their entire lives on the property and experienced unusual events on the property. We've heard stories about there being uh, a lot of locks, some weird chains. Did you see any of that? He had everything chained down. The fridge was locked, the cupboards were locked. Yeah? Even his car. Why do you think that was? When I asked Ken about all the locks, he says, Chris, he says, I wouldn't appreciate you repeating what I'm about to tell you. And I says, well, your, your secret's my secret. And he says, I get visitors. He says, alien activity. And he says, uh, things come up missing. Things come up dead. Kenneth had actually seen the aliens or knew what they looked like? He could feel they was present. And he says, I don't know exactly why they've picked my ranch to pick on me. Did he talk about any visitations that happened in the house? Yeah, like the screens on a window being taken out. Really? really? Okay. And uh, he'd tell me that at nighttime, he heard something strange while he was sleeping. Candace and I have experienced, you know, crazy things that happen on this property, and especially in this ranch house. Oftentimes, we do feel like we're being watched. Keep going. You're right on top of it. Last year, after Tom Lewis and Candace Lindy began hearing strange sounds and voices, coming from below their house. We investigated a strange concrete room in the basement that was totally closed up. We drilled a hole through the wall, and we ran a camera inside. What we found was really disturbing. Just stop right there. You see that? Mm-hmm. It looks a lot like bones. What in the world? What happened right here is one of the biggest tricks you've ever seen what in your life. Do? Yeah, what happened? Ken couldn't find three heifers. And I got here just at sunrise with my horse. We rode all day long, and I said, Ken, I don't know what to tell you about your heifers. We can't find fresh tracks, you know? And he had a shed right here, and Ken couldn't get the door to open. So we started pushing on him, pushing on him, pushing on him. I pushed it open as far as I could to the inside, and I looked in there, and I said, Ken, you ain't gonna believe this. Your heifers are in this shed. And he goes, no way, how are you gonna fit three cows in there? The heifers stuffed in there is what you're saying, locked in there. They were stacked one on top of each other like this. Oh my Shit. God. <laughs> and he said, they're dead. They're dead? And I said, the not still running out of their nose. They're still alive. And I said, well, go get a glass of water and dump that right over the top of that heifer's head. He did, and that damn thing come to life. <laughs> like they'd been drugged. Drugged. And you actually saw this. With I've you. seen it, yeah. That is an incredible story.